clownfish is very choosy about where to set up its home. After much evaluation, they finally picked a sea anemone by the rock and settled in there. The adult clownfish has a rather special skill. That is, to change its gender. In the clownfish community, the dominant position is commanded by the largest female. But if the alpha female dies or leaves the group, her male partner undergoes a change of hormone. And in a few weeks, he will transform into a she and embark on an odyssey to find a male partner for herself. During spawning season, as cleaners of the clan, the males tidy up the delivery room. They work for days to clear away the rocks beneath the sea anemone. Once the room is ready, the females show up. They lay the spawns gingerly on the bed. waiting for the males to inseminate them. Thus, a solemn ritual heralding new life is concluded. The next stage sees the expectant parents taking turn to stand guard. Every few minutes, they stroke the spawns with their mouths or bodies. Several days passed before the spawns change colors from orange to red. The end of the egg shows dark spots They are the fingerling's eyes. Another 10 days later, this clownfish clan is about to welcome a swarm of new members. Each creature on the seafloor spends its entire life exerting and struggling to give its offspring a head start. This is how life has managed to go on in the vast ocean, rife with dangers.